Friends, check it out. Tinkercad has enabled multi-sketch. I'm going to show you how it works. So let's get cracking. To make this a little faster, I'm going to give you a template. If you type bit.ly slash fish clip, it takes you to the template that makes this super slick. Of course, it is set to copy and tinker. So please remember the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give it a reaction before you copy and tinker. When you choose Copy and Tinker, you get an exact copy of my project. This is the solid of what it's built. If we ungroup, you can see it is just a cylinder, and then it's got a part cut out, and then it's got a rectangle. I'm going to put those back together with Control G. What I've done here is I've turned them into a hole. This is what makes the mechanism work for our cool little jaw project. The earlier tutorial, which I put in the corner, showed you how to make a fish. You can see this one is a clip. I'm going to use these for marking trails in the woods. I can simply clip it on a branch, and that'll help me follow my way back as I make a new path in the forest. You could also use these for a chip clip or anything else. Hopefully this also makes it clear how it works. This cuts out, and then bingo, you can squeeze and the jaws open. Let me ungroup this and show you how I built it. You can see these are the teeth. They used to be a separate project. I'll show you how we do that inside the sketch tool in a minute. If we double click or choose edit sketch, it is now three separate sketches in one project. Notice that the individual pieces overlap each other. I'm gonna show you this again super quick because it's pretty darn sweet. And when you hit finish, you have got a single awesome piece. How cool is that? So friends, let's build one of these clips in an instant. First thing we're gonna do is bring out sketch. We're just gonna set it down. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna back out because it really helps if you have it aligned. So I'm gonna real quickly switch to flat view and I'm gonna get this part lined up with the grid. So right there you see it's on the 10 by 10. If I come back one click, you can see we've got that circle centered. That helps us a lot in the next project. Once again, this is a lot easier to see when you're in flat view and looking at it from the top. Now I can take this part and line it up and it follows it exactly. This helps a ton in the next step. Now when we double click, check it out. You've got the center of that circle exactly where you want. Notice right here is one centimeter. We're gonna go a millimeter past that. So there's 11, 11, 11, and then over this way, once again, 10 and 11, and click to make that diamond. Now, the cool thing is if you double click it, bingo, you have got the outer circle project. Double click again, and we've got the pen tool. Once again, we can get back to that also with the letter P. Now, I want to draw the part that curves out. We do want to be outside this cutout. That is important. So I'm going to start my first point right on it. I'm going to click out here. I'm going to press the number two because I want this to bend. I'm going to go past it one, two, three millimeters, click and hold. So it has a little bend. I'm going to go another couple millimeters, click and hold. So it's got a little point. And then we're going to click and hold to return. Now I want a line. Hit the number one to switch to line mode. Once again, we're going at least one or two below. Pressing the number two to bend. We're going to make this top point. So notice if we look up here, we went one, two, three, four, and we went out about four. So just do the same down here. Once again, we're clicking to bend it a little, and we're coming back around. We can adjust these after, but we do want to make sure we stay outside of this box. Click, and then we want to come back in here to finish. I'm going to just finish right there, switch to number one, come up and finish like that. There is a glitch in this little shape. You can see this extra dark blue here. If we click on the edit points, we can now fix that by switching to a number one and a number one. Notice this is the line that was wackadoodle. So if I hit number one on this, it straightens that line. And then over here, I can go to number two to make it smooth or three so that I can adjust it exactly how I want. This one right here is a smooth curve. That is this style. If I hit number three, it switches to the broken lines. So then I can get that nice point that I want. Once again, you can adjust these to get them as perfect as you want. I'm just showing you how fun it is to fiddle and make it look kind of sweet. 
I'm gonna just make that a tiny bit thicker for strength and click and double click to finish it as well. Now we're gonna move up here and make the jaws. We're gonna modify our previous design. When we get in here, we can edit it. We're gonna make this opening two millimeters. So I'm gonna click and make one, two, and then a third below the original point. If we now switch back to our grab menu, notice if you don't do that, they will delete we can take these and move them back so they're into this cutting hole. We need to make sure it goes into that area. Once again, I'm trying for two millimeters. Now I can click on this line and hit number one. Now I'm gonna take this point and pull it down close to where that two millimeter gap would be. Of course, you can set it to point one so you can get it more close. Now I'm gonna hit the number one, and that is how we break this. Later, this is gonna cut so that this mouth will open. Double click to finish that shape. Once again, we're gonna hit P, and now we can start making our teeth. So from this center line, we wanna come up two millimeters, and we just wanna simply make a tooth. I'm gonna set my nudge back to the one millimeter mode, and we're simply gonna go down, so it's two millimeters down, two millimeters up to make the teeth of our cool little clip. You can pick however many you want. I'm gonna go right here and now I'm gonna switch to number two to make a curve. And I'm gonna just click and bend this a little bit back and a little bit back. And then I wanna make sure that I finish it. That's jaw number one. Double click, let's press P to make the next one. Of course, we're already in line mode. And then we wanna make this tooth right here. Now I'm gonna go out one and then I'm gonna go up. So it's easy to get those lined up so they go in between the other teeth. Once again, get out here and decide how you wanna make this last tooth. I'm gonna actually do my curve right here with the number two and just come out and bend it a little bit. Of course, come back and connect it. Now we can click on it and edit those points if we want switch our modes, get it to turn however you think looks most cool, adjust your nudge, and just get whatever you think looks sweet. At this point, friends, when you are happy, if you hit finish sketch, you have just made the jaw project. I'm gonna go back to perspective mode. I'm gonna change this thickness from 10 to eight. I found that makes a clip that is as strong as I want. And of course, now I need to cut that hole, so I'm going to make it nine so you can see it better. This shows you how it's going to cut. Let's grab the two of them and do Control G to group. Bingo. Squeeze the back and the jaws open. How cool is that? And of course, because of the brand new multi-sketch, we can double click and edit all of those pieces at the same time. If you want something to be different, like you wanted this to stretch out, you can simply double click, grab that little point, and change it however you want. I, of course, don't want that, so I'm gonna do Control Z, double click, and hit Finish Sketch, and click again to get out of edit mode. And of course, after it prints, it looks just like that. Friends, I've been having a blast with these. You can see this is the fish. There are also versions where we put in a magnet. And then finally, what I highlighted the other day is we can add text to a curved surface in Bamboo Studio or Orca. How cool is that? Friends, there you have it. Tinkercad multi-sketch in just a few minutes. Of course, I'm looking forward to using it in lots more projects. Friends, I do want to quickly say thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Don't forget you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.